Hello, students and, and people. I'm so happy to be here today. This is a really special event because it's a, a teaching experience. Type in where you are. Uh, there's a poll that can just popped up. This is going to be a teaching session because I, you know, my main thing is I really want to help you with your careers. I do. So here's what we're going to be doing today. Um, we are, I'm going, well, I'm Lilla Rogers. I'm an art agent. I've been an art agent for 27, 28 years. And before that, I was an illustrator for over a dozen years, 15 years, something like that. Um, I'm going to read a short section from my book that I'm writing. Never before, no one has read it, but one person. And I will tell you who has read the book so far. It's a work in progress. And I, we have an activity. You're going to do a little writing activity. Then you're going to do a little drawing activity. And then who knows the coolest part of today? Type in. You're going to, I'm going to do a pop in. I'm going to have a little guessing game. No, you're going to raise your hand and I'll pick a volunteer. You'll pop on screen. I will look at your website or Instagram. And thank you, Kim, I saw. And then you will, I'm going to look at your work and figure out what, where, what's the most lucrative based on your gifts, your strengths, what's special about your work. And then I will gift you with a class that I think fits that. So I'm very, 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 very excited about it. You know, let me explain marketing and sales to you. It's got to be something you love to do. So when you want to show your art on social media, do things that you love. Do things that you want to do. If you love doing flat lays, if you do love doing procreate speed thingy bobbers, if you love showing your before and afters, share what you love because you know what I say, people buy your joy. If you're just joining me on Facebook or on this thing, Zoom, um, I'm Lilla Rogers. I put that on. I'm an art agent and I'm really happy to be with you today. We're going to do course giveaways and all kinds of goodness. Um, do the pop and do the poll. If you can't find it, it's probably behind your screen. Press escape if your Zoom picture is filling up the whole joint. Okay, so take a look at that poll. I'd love to see who and what is going on with people. The first question is, have you ever taken a maths class before? Oh, we, most of you have, 70% so far, that's huge. And then you see the list of the various courses coming up too. It's fun to see um, who's gonna be there. So let's see. Um, oh, I think I see it, Kim, there, good. All right, hello from UK and Florida and Portugal and Croatia and California and New York City. So many familiar names, Rocio and Sarah Natuno and all that. Okay, um, get a piece of paper and pencil ready or you know, whatever device you use to write because you're gonna have a little short writing exercise after. Okay, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I'm gonna read a piece from my book. It's the first time I'm reading, I'm reading it publicly. So here we go. To blab or not to blab. It's 1989. My divorce is final. I'm dating again. It's a balmy summer evening in New York and I'm waiting at the light on Bond Street between Broadway and Lafayette with Lark, my date, a handsome literary agent who's in recovery. I tell him that I've been asked to write a book on time management for creative people. A publisher I admire heard me give a lecture at a conference and approached me afterwards. I wanna call it time management for creative people. Understandably, the publisher wants the more literate title time management for the creative person. I prefer creative people because it sounds cooler, more wonky than the creative person. 
I'm relatively new to writing, or more accurately, I haven't written much more than handouts for class. I share my first few pages with Lark. He says, you can write. I take it to mean a compliment in the writing business, and I'm happy. I'm mixed about the whole book thing because I'm busy with illustration gigs. I'm work and I'm currently working on a big illustration commission for Barney's New York, possibly the most stylish shop in Manhattan, just over on the west side at 17th and 7th. Every few days they messenger me some things to draw for a winter event. On my drafting table, I've amassed a bowler hat, a muff, a giant chunk of a necklace that looks like it would make a lovely accessory for a pirate. Today, the buzzer rings at my Bond Street studio and the bike messenger with his left pant leg clipped to his ankle so it doesn't catch on the bike chain, hands me a package of more goodies. It's something gray and woolen by Comme de Garçon. I'm not sure if it's a scarf or a vest. I want it. Can I keep any of this? I ask the assistant on the phone. Unfortunately, everything needs to be returned, he says. I explained to Lark that I'm not sure that I want to write a book because I want to stay focused on my art career. Plus, in those days, you were either a cool artist in the obligatory black leather jacket, which I own with zippers and crop just under the bosom, or you're someone who writes business books and has an MBA or something, and never the train, never the twain did meet in the 1980s. But what I want to share with you is the part where Lark advises me about writing. We enter the little Italian restaurant on Fourth Avenue and, and take a table. I think I'll show it to a few friends, I say. Don't talk about your work too early, he says. It diffuses the power. I've seen it happen, happen with our authors. They talk the book out. Keep it close to you. So my advice is to move forward with care blab only a little, and to the right people. And now here's your exercise. First of all, how'd you like it? How was that? Oh, thank you, Lydia. Thank you. Thank you. I'm shy, you know? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're the best, man. I love you all. Really, you're so good to me. Um, thank you. I'm just reading the comments and the pirate necklace. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thank you. I haven't even pitched it yet. <laughs> so, okay. So here's, you read the word so well for a shy one, you know, and when I try to read it, I try to picture it too, because I think somehow that comes through. You know what I'm saying? Okay, here's what I want to write. Um, thank you for liking my glasses, Jessica. I really like the femme and the butch, you know? I like the mix. Okay, because I'm kind of both. Here's what I want you to write. You could see New York, says Pam. Oh, Kate Blackwell says, pitch it. I need to read this. The world needs it. Thank you. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I hide the shy because I think I'm blushing a little, uh, you know, because professionalism, right? There's a real mood. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, <laughs> okay, here's what I want you to write. Because in the book, I have some memoirish stuff, if it's appropriate, if there's a point or um, an anecdote or something. But it's all about teaching. It's all about teaching because, you know, that's my thing. I love to teach. I love to mentor. I love being an agent teaching. So here's what I want you to write. Who can you share your work with, your project, your art, your writing, your picture book, your... So you can write it on a piece of paper or put it in the chat. Take a moment. Who can you share your work with who loves your stuff who loves you and your stuff who enjoys what you do and smiles a lot 
Mm -hmm. Yes. And for me, the only person that has read my, what I've written so far, can you guess who it is? Guess who it is? Those of you who know, yes, Pat Pia, Riley. Yes, Riley. Because Riley, Riley, are you here, by the way? Riley is just so supportive, so energetic. We're also great friends. And so I've been sending him chunks. Riley te is Riley Wilkinson. He teaches um, my toy pitch with me. He is an agent, a toy and game agent at the agency. And he teaches my toy pitch class, which um, we're offering again in July self-paced with a live review and a lot and four new trend boards. Um, yeah, so he's great. So think about who loves your <laughs> rye grass. Yeah, rye bread, rye. Okay. Who's just going to say good things because that's what you need in the beginning? Yes, you get to be picky. You get to just get people who like it to look at it or read it or watch it or hear it if it's a podcast or if it's a this or that. Think about it. Yes, Zoe, you do need honesty, but not in the creative phase. After, when you feel less vulnerable and you feel safer, that's my opinion. Everyone's different and you need to find your own way. But if someone says something, when you're giving your heart and soul, if you're not giving your heart and soul, if you're just doing something that you're doing all the time and you're not, you're used to it, then sure, you want like, oh, yeah, do you think I should... The typography is okay, or should I move this over here? That's one thing. But I want positivity in the beginning. If I'm really, which I, I, I'm not that vulnerable most of the time, but when I'm writing this book, I am vulnerable. Um, I don't have a tough skin, Zoe. I don't have a tough skin. I just never did. I never have. But, and I, it shuts me down, you know? So it's a good point, but everyone is different. Yeah, a lot of creatives don't. So it's finding at what point you can reach out. And then here's what I'm gonna tell you. Imagine the dream art director, editor, agent. What would they say to you that would be nurturing? the dream art director, editor, and agent. Because as an agent, I do review my artist's work all the time, but I fill it with all the things I love. And then I might say something like, I love blah, blah, blah. What do you think about putting that here? Your thoughts? I always say your thoughts, but I probably have some of my represented artists here in the chat because you want, yeah, it's a compliment sandwich, but it's authentic. I'm not doing it so then I can say the crappy thing in the middle. Um, it's, it's considered. And for me, I'm lucky. The artists I represent, obviously, I've picked all of them. I love their work. So it's really easy to love, 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 love. And so most of the time it's just, I love it. I love, you know, when they send a piece in that they've just done for a client, for a gig, you know, I love it. It's amazing. You're a genius like that because that's how people grow and thrive. It's the same with raising children. Okay. Now here's what I want to say. The art director, agent, editor, producer, creative director, whatever those gatekeeper people will be the folks that dig deeper into helping you finesse your peace. But for now, find some love from your sweet new pet, your project. Find the love. Okay. Now, when I was an illustrator, I worked some of the, with some of the incredibly best art directors, creative directors in the world. And 
they taught me a lot. They taught me how to say things. And, and this is my favorite one. I should put this in the book. They'd go like, oh, I love this, Lily. This is so incredible. But you know, the editor wants to see more, blah, blah, blah. And I know it's dumb, but if you could just do it, that would be great. How great, I'm like, so what they did is, what did they do? They put me and them, the art director, together. And then some editor over here, you know, we were like, was like the common enemy, not really, but you know. And also, so they taught me how to say things, but they also taught me to be better, make how to make my work better. And when I, uh, the other thing, of course, who's telling you if, if somebody says your brush lettering looks like a child did it, it's like what Brene Brown says, are you in the game? Are you putting your work out there? Otherwise, you know, I'm not really going to listen to you. And the, and also maybe they are in the game, but do you relate to their work? It's like the art, the, the, the teacher I had in art school who literally said to me, this is in the book. Oh no, not yet. It's going to be said to me, if you don't, if you draw like that, you'll never get work. But I thought, yeah, but I don't really relate to the work you do. So I'm not going to listen. Okay. I need to say today is the first day of our giant spring sale. And we have this wonderful guide. You know, I had so much attitude then that I was like, you know, uh, F you, whatever. I'm like, you know, I'm so cool and you're not, and you know, but I'm sure it affected me, but I don't remember that part. Okay, so this guide, it's got the armadillo who's done, we put it in every year, but we were like, should we do it again? We're like, yeah, that's good. Plan your art career with the dream armadillo. Not only do we have um, gallery pages of student work from class, but we have some new worksheets too, and all kinds of, and you can fill them out right out on in like on your computer. And here's another worksheet and all kinds of goodness. I'm trying to make it a little more fun so it's not just, you know, but it's, oh, student success stories. And it does have um, all the courses how much, when, where, why, what, who, how, why they're so great and why you need to take them to have an incredible career because they work, I'll be honest. Okay, so um, yes, yes. If you don't have, oh, Becky's here. Hi, Becky. If you don't have the sale guide yet, you can download it at makeartthatsells.com. And that's why I need Becky, the manager over at Matt's, because yeah, where do you get the thing? So that's where you get it. And it's pretty. So you can print it out and draw on it and circle and figure out what bundle to take, because this is the last time we'll have such deep discounts on the courses until, um, yeah, that's it for the rest of the year. Okay, so um, let's see, we have, yeah, so many of you are most interested in illustrating children's books. Do you know I teach a writing picture books? I teach writing and illustrating picture book class. So it's really fun. It's pretty amazing. And I'm having a residency with 14 of our artists and where I'm going to help them writing and illustrating their picture books. Okay, so now we are going to do a drawing exercise. We're going to do a drawing exercise. Yes, we do have Black Friday and Cyber Sale, but that's for court in, in, in November, but that's for courses in 2023. So, yes, um, Mel, nice to see you here, Mel. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to screen share. Do you have something to draw with right now? Do you have something to draw with? An iPad? Okay, yes. Yep, good. We're going to draw for three minutes. We're going to draw. 
just because it's great to draw, you know? Um, so I'm going to share my screen. This is a photo I took. It's from my Instagram. I was, I was looking at it this morning. See that? And what I want you to do is take a moment to look at what jumps out at you and what you feel like drawing. Is it this gorgeous lettering and the like gray of all the dirt and grime? Is it the lines of these uh, what do you call these gate security gate things? The detail on the building, the perspective, this fabulous angle. And notice how this is a little more horizontal. And as you go, the perspective makes this angle increase as you go up. The little chimneys, the fire escapes, the little flowers. Just draw one little piece. One little piece, I'll give you a few minutes. The peeps, and here's a little umbrella, the graffiti here, did you see that? The air conditioners, these wonderful rectangles. So take a moment, I'm gonna give you a few minutes to draw. And the reason is, because then we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk about it. So do you all, do you see it? Good, okay. And that, I don't know, just maybe it's behind something. <laughs> Lydia says I'm in for the year but I love listening to you so I'm here for it thank you thank you thank you I really appreciate those comments on my book I do um, the fire escapes yes lots of lines there's people there's lettering there's the car the molding or whatever the architectural interest up here how wonderful is that and oh look, there's a light, a light thing and the and the signs, so New York, you know, the street signs and the and the one way. How's everybody doing? One more minute. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna tell you what it means, what your drawing meant. You're not drawing the whole thing. Unless you want to. I don't make the rules. <laughs> My daughter says. I don't make the rules. I just dream them up and enforce them, she said. She's the funniest person I know. I just dream them up and enforce them. <laughs> okay, so can you stop now? Can everybody stop? Okay, good. So here, write done. Type in done. No, you're not done, I know. Type in... Oh, good. Oh, you did. Good. Okay. Type in what you drew or what was the thing you most loved drawing? Or even if you had a split second where you just really liked one part, what did you do? The sign, the stairs, the window, the arrow, graffiti, corner angle, the rain spots. Yeah. Corner of the gray, the perspective, the sign. Yes, yes, yes. I'm thrilled. So, and that teeny thing you loved is your guide to what you like to draw. It's not the only thing you like to draw, but tuning into those moments is how you find your style or you perfect your style. You evolve your style. It's a lifelong journey. It's a spiritual journey about figuring out what the heck is this DNA in you. Okay, so did you like lettering? You know, did you gravitate toward this lettering? Did you like ge geometry? Did you like angles, Patricia, the blocks, Sidlali? Did you like drawing the people? And they're like, he's sort of hunched over in the umbrella and she's leaning forward, trying not to get her face wet. Yeah. So, you know, it kind of tells you what you like. I mean, it's not a rule. Maybe you just really like the lettering here, but typically you don't like lettering. Or maybe you like these people, but you typically don't draw a lot of people. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Exactly, Karen. I don't normally like type, but that's what I drew. So maybe you like might like to draw more type, maybe only vintage type or vintage signs. The angles and the lines of the stairs, says Janelle. The angle and lines of the stairs. 
Yeah, I just love that. I love it all. The bricks. Is there anything anyone drew that I didn't mention? Is there anything? Yeah, my glasses. <laughs> well, you know, my other cat size, they were in the shop, but they're, they're fixed. I can get them back. Speaking of, and, and I'm going to wear them, I don't know, either these or those, um, because on Monday, I'm going to do a webinar with one of my newest artists, Jenny Miriam, who's watching my Instagram lives and my webinars. I'm having such a ball. I'm approaching them differently. I'm like not thinking of what, like explaining everything or talking everything about the artist, but like one thing that I just really want to know about the artist. Yeah. And I, 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 you know, it's much more interesting for me and I think for others too. So that's Monday and you get that link on the, on the Lilla Rogers website. Yes, Beth, that Mara Penny. It was all like psychic stuff because she and I love psychic stuff and she gets all this like mystical creative work. Okay, then on Thursday, this is big. This is big. Write it down. It's meet all your teachers. The Make Art That Sells All-Star Zoom. My co-founder, Beth Kempton, we teach the money badass. We are two entrepreneurs who know our shit. So you, we, you can ask us questions about that class, Money Badass MBA. You, and then there's um, Zoe Tucker. We teach illustrating children's books. Riley Wilkinson, we teach the toy class. Margot Tento, we teach the creating collections for home decor class. So did I leave anybody out? Becky, did I get everybody? I think so. Beth is very inspiring and she's an author of five books. Yeah, so that's pretty great. Okay, so I had to say that. So, okay, check, check. Oh, we're ready to do pop-ups. We're ready to do pop-ups. Um, let's see if I forgot it. So Becky gives me this whole sheet of what I'm supposed to, you know, like remember. Um, I think I did everything, Becky. Now we're ready for pop-ups. I will um, possibly do, oh, I can stop sharing. <laughs> um, career Tarot, okay, we may do that. I'm going to get rid of that building. We are going to, um, you can go down to raise your hand, click raise your hand. If you, uh, want to be on the screen and if I can show your Instagram page or your website page and I will advise you on your career and I will gift you with a course that I feel is going to be really special for you and helpful. So, oh, I didn't click the button. There are 31 of you that raised their hand. Oh my God. Okay, Raquel Russo, we are going to get Raquel on the screen. So Raquel Russo, Raquel, so you pop up. Allowed to talk, okay. So, yeah, and you know, we'll just, it's totally Hi. spontaneous. Hello, so make sure Raquel that we can see you. Uh, um, you. yeah, Click. I didn't get the, the, um, the notification bar. to allow the camera, I think. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, Join us back. Kim, are you doing that? Oh, did you get it? Yeah, I got it. I'm just unchecking the video. Hello. Hi, we've never met. I don't think um, we did. Did we meet? I think I did a pop up in the kid pitch class. Oh, you did. Well, yeah, it's so yeah. good to see you. I, you know, I, I love your work. I've seen it in classes. Oh, thank so, you. Um, and you were like the one of the first people to raise their hands. So, yeah. so how are you? Where do you live? In Portugal. In Portugal. I'm fine. 
My son loves Portugal. It's his favorite country. It's mine too. <laughs> yeah. Have you it's very sunny. Oh. Yes, yes. Yes, I'm Portuguese. Mm. It's very nice because it's very sunny and the food is great. So. I mean, what more do you want, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's by the ocean. Yeah. So, um, so, first of all, do you have any questions for me? Or should we just go right to your website which i already have um i already have up what do you want to um, do yeah i think you can go to my website the my biggest question is about my portfolio and if it's okay. up to standards in the industry okay so. good okay so let's get this first of all look how she has this hand lettering and illustration but i do see the illustration around here and then right away she does the the sign up for a newsletter thing. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Thank you. <laughs> let's go ahead and sign up. Why not? I'm happy to. It's easy to read. She makes it clear. It's really good, right? Yes, the chat people are loving it. Okay, and then I simply click the X. So <laughs> this is about children. Are you in my year? Uh no. Oh, no. good. Okay. So you don't have all the courses already because otherwise no, I, I wouldn't be able to gift you with anything. Okay. No, I've so. only, I've only taken illustrating picture book Okay. and uh, the kid book pitch last year. So um, with the writing class and the illustrating book. Yes. Yes. Okay. So right away, this tells me she wants kid book work because yes. this is from class or some or similar or something. And she's showing poses, expressions, connecting, and so on. She is, she's got different situations. She's got a nice scene here, really beautiful texture on the wall and the floor. Mm -hmm. Look how the light of the window just adds atmosphere, right, people? Don't you think so? Yeah. This boy, this boy, yeah. This is so sweet, so dear. Look, the little hand, hands and feet on children are tiny. If they're not tiny, it just looks like a very small person, adult. So remember that. And the heads are very large compared to the body. Um, Zoe Tucker, my co-teacher, always talks about connection. So we see the connection here. We see a scene. Do you notice I'm looking for all the good things? There are plenty of them, so it's not a problem. And then I'll talk about mm -hmm. maybe any ways she can do more or improve if there's anything. So we see a, a girl who's obviously, we get the emotion. She's left out and these girls, which look like her, maybe they, I guess they are her, yes. are playing. <laughs> What is this about? Tell me about this one. Um, when I thought about this, I thought about, so initially there were three separate illustrations and I had a sad girl and then um, she saw the flower, it, it, it was, she was sad. And then she saw some flowers and by following the flowers, she found the boy and the dog and they began playing together. That's how they met. Oh, I um, see. Okay. Okay. So for not that it matters for a portfolio piece, but because the art director or agent is going to know there's more to the story. But what I would do for clarity, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I find myself really interested in it. I want to know more. I want to see what's happening. By the way, what is Zoe going to say? Shadows. Shadows. Yes. Shadow, <laughs> right. Write that down. Because that's going to show that the dog is in the air. If he's jumping up, you put a shadow down here, suddenly he's in the air. Okay. Yes, you were right. Your instincts. This probably should be sequential. Yeah. Because right now she's looking at this girl, sort of. I mean, she's looking down, kind of mm -hmm. she's looking about here. But um, you could do it also an additional piece where you have the three first she's sad and maybe this is all empty there's nothing going on mm -hmm. and then the next scene is she walks over 
She's not happy yet. Okay. She doesn't go from this yeah. to this so fast. She's in between. She's like, well, that's a flower. And maybe her body language is a little hesitant. You know, somehow, yeah. maybe think about the in-between. And maybe there's a third illustration where then she looks over at the boy. And then the fourth one is she's playing. It's a wonderful opportunity for you to showcase what you do so well, which is poses and emotions, which is how you're going to get the book, get a book okay. illustration gig. Thank and you, you will. You absolutely will. Uh, I'm really pleased with how strong your work is. Shadows. Shadows. What is that? What is that dot? Is that her mouth? Yeah, what because she's hesitant. She's never on a spin before. So it's her first time. That's why she's so. Whoops. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> yes, but a mouth, if I'm in profile, my mouth yeah. can never be here. Yeah. Even if I'm. Ooh, okay. Okay. So yes. Just fix that mouth. You have it correct here. Center mm -hmm. line, the center line of the face. And yeah, it's over a little. That's okay. Now, I know what Zoe would say too. I've learned a lot from my teachers. So her eyes are open wide. Do this face for me. Even what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. What am I going to say about the mouth? It's open wide. Make it it's wider. So it needs to, yeah, it needs to be yeah. wider. Maybe the eyes need to be a little more. No, I think the eyes are happy. great. Easy oh, okay. change, mouth, easy change. What I'm doing with Raquel is fine tuning. She's so strong. She doesn't need a lot. Okay. This, I, look at these kids peeking out. I love that. And, and we see that it's a set. You know, the sharp line at the bottom shows us instantly that this is on stage. I want you to get some photo reference of that pose. Okay. okay. Um, just, you can make that a little more accurate in how the arms and legs are really going and the body and so forth. Minor change. This girl, unreal. Let's, can we blow that up there? Yes, I can. I mean, come on, the boots, the water, the color of her skin with the rosy cheeks. It's caramel. It's beautiful. The mahogany hair, um, the specificity. When you write or illustrate, and people, I talk a lot about writing in my book because it's just another tool for you. You learn how to use Procreate or art supplies or pastels. You can learn how to, it's the same with words. It's specificity, the details, the observation, the clarity. The, 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 what are these called? The gathering on the, the puffy sleeve, the buttons, the brown yeah, the buttons. buttons. Yes, the boots. The, I look a lot at Pinterest, children's clothes on Pinterest. Yeah, exactly. You, have, you get reference. Thank you, Julie. Um, look at this squirrel. Her color palettes are beautiful too. So we haven't even gotten where she's got. Now, here's what's great too. She doesn't just have three good pieces in kid book. You've got to show a lot to make the sale because that's what you are. You're selling people, artists. You are selling to the agent or the art director. Like if I assigned her a book, can she follow through? Does she have the chops to do it? The technique? Yes, she does. Okay. Here's, and, and you want to show maybe a, certainly a range of emotion. You want to show kids, animals with emotion and poses. Also a variety. She's got an outdoorsy scene and an interior. If she only showed kids sitting at a fireplace, why would that be limiting? Type in. Why would that be limiting? Because what if the book is about you know, finding the bees. Yeah, and, and going to the Alps or whatever. Yeah, if she has, a, so now she's up for a book that's maybe about camping or outdoors. Here's any book that takes place in the home. 
Here's one that's adventure outdoors. Here's one with animals. Here's one, a bedtime story. Again, how did you get all this reference? This is so specific. The little lighthouse picture, the sand, the cactus. This, this is, I changed this one. This was for Bob, um, the text you had two years ago, I think, by Zoe. Yeah. Um, I ended up removing Bob to make this a more real scene so that okay. it would be more easier to sell. Um, so yeah, that was it. I did that. I did this research. Yes, Bob the Balloon. I did the research for this image with Bob the Balloon. I just ended up taking Bob out from my portfolio. Where did you find all this? In like this bookshelf, did you use photo reference and research and look yeah. at yours? Yeah, I don't tell. remember where exactly, but I use Pinterest a lot. You can tell, I... absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Oh, here's Bob, yeah, but not the Yeah, movie. but I removed Bob and I transformed Good. him. Absolutely. Into a... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, she's totally ready to get picture books. So let's see the rest of her. Um, she's got blog, newspaper. I always, you must have an about page on your site. It's the second most compared to your illustration work. By the way, this is beautifully done. She oh, used you. a font, but hand rendered them in a nice sort of pencil technique. Yes. That. Okay. With, um, these crayons. Oh, what's the name of that? Yeah. They are Karandash nail color, I think. Oh, that's the wonderful. Yeah, Corel's one. Yeah. And, and she makes it really easy. I, this is me as an agent. This is how fast I can go. I see drawing technique. I see color palettes. You know what I do want to do you to do, though? I yeah. like, this is freaking gorgeous. Um, try different color palettes. Okay. Right now I see you're using um, beautiful ones and I love them, keep them, but add more. So you have a lot of neutrals. I'm crazy about neutrals and um, pastels, but let's see some pops of color or okay. dark, dark colors, dark background um, and so on and so forth. So, okay. Um, so in, in the, I see people want to know about the classes or, uh, Jessica does. So in the Illustrating Children's Book class, which is coming up the end of May and is on sale up to 40% off, is you learn everything you need to know every week. You have an assignment, five weeks, you create a pitch. And you can learn more about that on makeartthatsells.com, all about the courses. So, but actually, you're seeing how I review work in the courses which we do, Zoe and I do every single week, five weeks. So I think that's helpful to give you a flavor. Okay, the about page is a must. I, as an agent, want to see a picture of the person just because we like to see pictures of people. We don't necessarily judge and you don't have to be a beauty queen or you don't have to be anything. But I'm like, okay, so here's an, a person with a nice person. And then I want to know about you. First of all, I want to see, does she already have an agent? If she does, then, you know, I'm not going to pursue it because you don't do that. Agents don't do that. If you, I want to know a little bit about her. Um, you could say a little bit more. Oh, but I scroll. Good. So I see she's published books. Yeah, right. Here in Portugal. So in Portugal. So, and follow, it, it's perfect. You got your Instagram, so I can go like, oh, let's go here. This is really beautiful. I like the richness, Raquel. I like that richness, and it's more painterly. I like yeah, that. that's feeling bolder. I, I really, yeah, I really like that too. I'm switching from digital to gouache and mixed media and oh. all that stuff, and that's why now, now I'm finishing a book now. Mm -hmm. um, and when I finish it, it will be this month, I think, or maybe next, um, I'll go back to my portfolio and I really want to make it richer with lots of texture and movement and line. Yeah. That I'll do it with traditional medium. That's really strong, really strong for you. Um, I 
this is just my opinion. I would remove yeah. illustration promenade. Yeah. That's not your brand. Rucka yeah, is your brand. That's you. Okay. That's what I remember. I don't want to have to learn two things. You know, I've got okay. thousands and thousands of students and other and art directors don't. We don't need that. That's my opinion. You know, no, um, but it's good that you say it because I was talking to a friend the other day and I was thinking about removing it. So yeah. it's great that you. Well. Yeah. OK, so I think I can stop the share uh, that people was a fantastic portfolio. Oh, thank that was you. very professional. She real, you all know that, right? Yeah, read the comments, Raquel. Stunning, beautiful oh. work. Yeah. That... Oh, thank you guys. My God. I'm letting her absorb your comments because people need to hear. Yeah, very professional. There was no, nothing weak. Okay, so. Thank you, I'm overwhelmed. Hey, the obvious choice i'm gonna gift you illustrating picture illustrating children's books thank so you, you just you. won illustrating picture books i think and you know it's uh when it's not on sale it's like 500 dollars or something so but it's on sale and again you get 40 percent off people so yay so becky you're here you know so write raquel write to hello at make art that sells say yeah. that you won illustrating picture books she totally deserves it and that was a no-brainer thank you so much <laughs> you know i mean how cool. how cool i was super sad that i wasn't able to join this year so oh, now it's no. real. i'm really happy wow did you manifest this I, I think so i hope so <laughs> I think you were yeah you're you're ready you know you're ready to approach the american market too. I hope so. Yeah. I'm working and... full time as a graphic designer. And <sighs> here in Portugal, we don't have enough. The budgets, budget, budgets are low. Right, so right. even though I'm working as a freelance illustrator, it's not enough to, to live on. That's why no, I want to enter no. the American market. Yeah. Well, if you think of an, a European country, America is like all of Europe. Exactly. That's why the budgets are so big because the print ones are huge for books. They go to, you know, we just have a huge population and it's fairly, fairly affluent compared to some other countries. So it can, it can support that. Yay. Who's in so illustrating happy. children's books. And so people are always already saying, see you in class, Nemu and Sue and Brooke O'Neill and, and Liz and Julie lots of them good good so you're in good company um, yeah good thank you so much for being with me today i'm so glad you raised your hand and thank and you i will see you in class yeah thank we'll you see you there class. thank you thank you thank, thank you so you. much my pleasure we have some questions too and i'm going to pop up somebody else because is this addicting is this addicting okay let's see um how about pam lot how about pam let's see i'm trying to get this to okay allowed to talk and pam lot kim will you help me yeah she should be coming in now oh good oh pam hello hey oh i'm thrilled hey i have to just show you there's my post-it note. <laughs> no, no, manifester, <laughs> unreal. Well, I, I do, had to do it. You always make good comments in class. I vaguely remember that, right? Okay. You're a com you. good commenter. Well, um, it's a delight to um, participate. And you were saying about the most supportive people. And I think the Mats people yeah. have been, the, and you're, you and Riley and everyone have been the, the best. Um, to help me really, you know, feel like I could possibly go forward. So I'm just thrilled. So glad, so glad. So you're American, I can hear. Where do you live? Uh, I'm living in Southeast Florida right now. Southeast Florida, what what town? Is it near uh, any? Boynton, Boynton Beach. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's wonderful, lucky duck. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm it's picking beautiful. all these warm weather people. 
Right. Yeah. Well, it, it is spring in Boston. We've got really pretty things coming up. So should we look at your website or your Instagram or do career to row? Well, I've put together a, an initial website of um, material that I have, but and also material for my classes because I'd like to get an overview from you about okay. direction because I'm developing style and things of that nature. And um, I've mm -hmm. got a bunch of classes that I'm taking, but I think I probably need to take illustrating children's books. I've self, I've illustrated and self-published a children's book many years ago. It was a mm -hmm. rhyming children's. Uh, book and um, my style has evolved and I'm reworking the characters in that so I wanted to kind of get a feel for some of that as well as far as how that might fit into the classes that you have and that kind of thing so um, I have okay. pamlot.com it has two t's pamlot.com like pamlot <laughs> okay so let me get everything nice and set up on my screen before I share so I can see you and this the site let's make it a little bigger okay so we're gonna go is everybody having fun is this so exciting I find it exciting yeah okay Pam Lott First of all, her name is here we can see it right away she's got these three different tabs nice and clear we see this wonderful character and i love that black line love that black line we see somebody who's experimenting with different techniques this is probably digital right yes like mm -hmm. ipad or something this one yep. maybe they all are and here we have a fatter line and some rainbow and a character we have characters here she's got different facial expressions this one is very strong just make the face pop away from the hair in terms of color so so we can see this gorgeous expression even the hair mimics as zoe teaches too the hair mimics the expression anytime you can help show the expression the emotion with the hair, the clothing, the facial expressions, obviously the eyes, the mouth. Um, it just helps the little child read the emotion um, because children, you know, if a two-year-old or five-year-old is reading your book, they might not always understand the language, but the picture tells it. So maybe her skin tone is lighter or her or the hair is darker, so there's contrast, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. This, really interesting. You know why I like this? You've given a lot, you've spent a lot of time on it. It's more of an evolved piece. Sometimes it's just putting in the hours on one piece. Yeah, you got the bears, you got this crazy thing. I like that line. Okay, I'm just getting a lay of the land here. Okay, so we have a lot going on. We have a kid. So I'm going to go, I want to just see everything right away. Info, here we have a wonderful picture. And here's where she is. I'd love to see a little bit more about you. A little bit more anything, you know, um, what you're learning what you're doing, what you love to do, just a little bit, maybe any professional experience you have in any way. Um, okay. I think that's useful. And then of course, you gotta have your contact button. Gotta have that. Good, easy to read, easy to fill in. So I have some questions. You know what, I'm gonna do career to row on you because I wanna see what your, Yay. What your strengths I was are. You would. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I feel that. like your work is in the exploration mode. Yes. Phase. You're I trying this, you're trying that. You don't know yet, but we all, we all start there. Start and middle there, right? We all are there. Okay, so what I want everybody to do is, I'm dumping out the cards face down. Um, and I want, it's funny, uh, all of them are face down, except one said, take a big fat vacation from it all. <laughs> well, maybe that applies. 
Okay, so I want everybody to just breathe for a moment. And while you're breathing and relaxing and softening your shoulders, you may find too that you get some information about your own career because these things can be magical. We're taking a moment. We're taking a moment. Okay, one. Interesting thing is when I pick the cards, I totally forget that I'm live on the air. <laughs> so I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna stop the share so we can be together. Okay, so again, you know, this is what it is. Who knows? If it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, sue me, call my lawyer, whatever, you know? Just... It's coming through you, it's not. <laughs> It says the first one, make political art. Really? What, just, what do you care about? Uh, I care about the environment and sustainability. What about it? Uh, well, I lived off grid for 12 years. Um, <gasps> Boom! <laughs> uh, yeah. I've been a landscape designer and design sustainable, have des design sustainable landscapes and the environment's really important to me, the quality of um, living, uh, architecture that's green and works with the environment and, and is sustainable. And I lived in a straw bale house and uh, passive- in a what house? Straw bale house. What's that? House made of straw bales. <laughs> People, is she the coolest person you've <laughs> Is she unbelievable? Okay, okay. That's what this is about. You need to, you don't need to draw the animals and stuff. I want you to get facts, information, your, that's political. You lived off the grid for how many years? Uh, actually 13 years. 13 years, people. Yes, Christina. She says, draw about your life. A book about your life would be amazing, says Helen. That's a story for sure, says Bettina. Yes, everyone wants this. I want that. That I'm so glad I did this career tour. I don't even need to do the other four cards, but but I will. OMG, this is incredible. So here's what you can do. You can do a nonfiction book. Yes, a nonfiction picture book, says Rocio. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's fact and some art. It can be an adult nonfiction book. You've got to write your stories. You've got to write. Just start writing a little. Okay. Um, Christina says a little girl that lives in a straw bale house, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in any classes now? I am. Um, mm -hmm. I, I took your starter pack. So I have a bunch of um, live and um, self-paced. And then I also signed up for the Mats, a, the Mats B, the hot markets, because I'm exploring. So I was trying to- Yes, that's things. really good. Do you yeah, have any, are you signed up for anything that's upcoming that's no, live? No, no. That's, oh, that's good because I, if you take if you sign up for everything, I can't gift you. Um, <laughs> Yes, Julie Harp says it would be great for older kids too, like fifth, sixth grade. Yes, it can be um, middle grade. It can be young adult. Those are the names of the categories. Um, you, you're extraordinary, okay? You're extraordinary. This is unusual. It's unique. It's, it's totally, you know, of the moment, not of the moment, because that sounds like it's, 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 where we should all be thinking and thinking about and it's climate change and it's the environment and it's all the good stuff yeah yeah it's, it's so interesting that this came up because what i've been chewing on as i've been taking the classes is you know about you know people buy your joy and do you and i felt yeah. i feel like that piece has been missing yes and, and i need to translate that and stop mm -hmm. i like 
maybe just focus on that subject or that thing and to explore within there. Is it? Why that did you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Pam did the magic racetrack game in my toy pitches, Patina. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, toy pitch is great for you too. For well, the, a concept, the but yeah, but I know what you're going to do. I know what I'm going to give you, but um, <laughs> tell me why you lived off the grid for 13 years. Well, what it was a life about what, what, what was the passion behind it? Well, it was a lifestyle that I was really interested in to see how lightly I could live in, on the land. Um, I did it with a partner uh, and the infrastructure was already there, but I became the steward of the land with, and developed the landscape with my landscape design background. But we had um, solar power, we had uh, wind power, uh, we had a pond that we built, and then we had gardens and, and um it was, but here's the, here's the kicker. It was the first house. Uh, it was actually within the city limits of a small town in Southern Oregon. Um, and so I was only a mile and a half from uh, downtown. Um, and, uh, but it, but it was, um, you know, just tucked away and we, you know, we basically uh, generated power with the solar, but we, the city bought it back. So it was, it was, so it was a, just a wonderful experience to, um, you know, work with the environment in terms of the elements and connecting, um, connecting to nature more and being more uh, slowed down and in touch and um, present, if you will. Uh, didn't have a clothes dryer for all that time. Used just you know hung clothes on the outside or hung them in front of the um, masonry stove in the winter inside the house. Um, just it was it was interesting because it was a mel it was also a blending of worlds you know how to how to do it um, without sacrificing too many comforts of home if you will. Um, it's so. it's you're amazing you know I think we've established that you're amazing and extremely knowledgeable about what you're doing um, and what you've done. You know you're an expert. You're an expert. I mean, do you think I know any of this stuff? I know none of this. It's funny what you live off the granted. grid for five minutes. <laughs> I okay, I am like so grid. But anyway, and I'm not proud of it. Um, uh, let me let me ask you, um, and do you have questions for her too? I, I, I think we're all just blown away. Okay, well, let's go to the second thing. Um Instagram and art your writing and photos inst write that down inst Wait, that's the card that's the what the card says instagram your art um because it said blog because i made these years ago and so uh -huh. i crossed that out um okay. uh, about a year ago i revived updated them instagram your writing and art and photos okay. but before that it was just your writing and photos yeah, not even your art right now. I want you to focus on your writing and your photos. Do you have photos from that time? Yes, I most certainly do. I was a professional photographer for a while. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm going crazy. <laughs> there it is. Who wrote that? Um, Lilla's career to tarot is always eerily spot on. It's so true. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I don't know how it works, but, but I was really trancy when I picked those. I was like, I'm not even live right now. Okay. Um, what, uh, what did that make me think of? Um, oh, damn. What was I going to say? Uh, um, okay. Pam's lot, your, homestead your homestead lot. lot. <laughs> don't you love the paper? This, I think I'm in the twilight zone says, Chow. this is so magical. Brenda. Yeah, Gretchen says the woo woo is working. Yeah, you know, use mysticism or psychic or intuition for your career, people. Really, okay. Yeah. Are we? Oh, um, Instagram, your writing and photos. Oh, that's what. What did you do? F f like, what did you do for income in the past? Professional photographer, landscape designer. Yeah, landscape designer. Um, I. Uh, what else did I do? Um. I was a consultant for rainwater harvesting 
and gray water harvesting. Uh, and I was a consultant for sustainable design. And okay, uh, that goes on your website. You're going to revamp your website. Okay, big <laughs> time. Um, so interesting to Bettina, bring these pieces together. Bettina Sullivan says drawing clothes against masonry block wall memorable. She's an <laughs> eco goddess, says Susan Carr. Oh, I'm so glad I selected you too. Oh, okay. You. Then I'm it kind says shaking a little bit on the inside here. You're it shaking. Feels, it's, yeah, well, it's resonating, and I just like my mind is like this. And yeah. I'm just wondering, like, wow, I wonder what this is going to look like, how to pull all these pieces of my life together. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just start making, take your photos and scribble some words and, and write some stuff and, and just whatever. Also, stay open to the channel and just like channel whatever's coming out and get it down there. And it might not even be art. Okay. <laughs> it might be, might not. Um, it says, keep doing what you're doing. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know what that means. Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe keep doing your art. We'll sit with that. We'll sit with that. Number yep. four, refresh, clean, and beautify your studio. Okay. Tell me about your workspace. Your workspace is not as happy as you'd like it to be. True or false? Uh, true. I, you know, I moved here because I'm helping take care of my parents. And I left Oregon after 40 years. And I have a lovely little condominium. And I only have one bedroom. And I don't have an art space. But I've just purchased a wonderful um studio uh, pad for my iPad. So I have a workspace that I'm setting up um, and I have a beautiful little kitchen I can work in. I, I don't feel like I can't create, you know, cause if I waited for the perfect thing, I'd never do anything, but I do miss having just the place, you know, where everything is. Yeah. I'm not hearing love. No. Well, you know, it's, I'm, to be quite honest, this is a very, this has been a very difficult transition for me to be here in Florida oh, and for, oh, for lots of different reasons, <laughs> you know, but yeah, it's not from living that lifestyle and, and all. Um, so, and there's a lot of things here that I didn't have when I was Oregon in Oregon with respect to my, the way I chose to live and that kind of thing. And um, it's the opposite. Yeah. Well, and, and it's you know, not exactly freaking living off the grid in Oregon it's kind of no, the no, people are no. different and it's yeah it's not the northwest you yeah, know really Pacific it's really different. northwest versus like yeah. Boynton Beach yeah it's, but it's been, it's been very inspired the colors and the environment has been very inspiring inspiring oh, um, sunny and sunny um and uh, of course i'm with family and and you know helping helping out there and that's that's been really nice to do that it, it's yeah. just i feel like i'm in a i'm in a transition space you know i'm here let for now ask, yeah yeah let me ask you this uh let me ask the people um how, who lives near boynton beach that can befriend and support pam <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> yeah, type in um, Christina Rodriguez is in Miami. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anybody else in like that area of Florida? By the way, this is like the best day of my life. <laughs> <I'm> just <kidding. laughs> This is so great. Oh, Jacqueline, Jackie Tisa is in Jacksonville. Okay. Um, and I guess you can go to her website, people, and and type, you know, contact her. Thank you, Brenda. I would, I would, I would really appreciate that. Or if you're in the Facebook group too, that that would be great. Uh, um, I don't, yeah, I guess the uh, character boot camp or the toy pitch is the one are the ones I'm in right now. Okay. Um, Chow says, Pam, you are so strong. You are a creative person and a good person. Don't forget it. Thank you. Yes, it's absolutely true. Okay, last card. Another one. Oh my. Do more personal work and grow. 
do more personal work with the emphasis on personal. I see you taking pictures, you're outside, you're taking pictures. I just see you outside taking pictures with the camera and it just feels very, very satisfying too. And it's not just, you're not snapping away, but somehow these photos have real meaning to you. They just intellectually, intellectually, they have meaning. You're not just, here's a pretty wheat field or something. It's, which they wouldn't have in Florida, but like I see lots of grasses. There's lots of grass. Maybe it's like swamp grass or something, but you have thoughts about it. You're very intellectual. So you want to have it, that's how it's going to come together. So I, I have a question for you since you're into the tarot and astrology and whatnot. I'm a triple Scorpio. Oh my God, you can channel your whole freaking book. Stop, just forget it. <laughs> just go it's, all three like, I, you know, I keep it close to the vest and this is like putting it out there and you know, it's. Yeah, but you also have a ton of air signs. You're very intellectual. So, so you have, so you'll be able to channel <laughs> Did you ever think your teacher law is like this? But is this, you know, it's all good, right? It's all wonderful. Okay, um, so you have those two sides. But what I want you to do is, and I write about this in my book, because this is how I got myself to write my book. What was happening is I was getting so many memories and so much I wanted to teach creatives. I've been in the biz 40 years. I have things to say that I really want to say, but I was overwhelmed. There was too much. I'm working too much. There was no time. I visit my cousin, Brian Weiss, who wrote Many Lives, Many Masters in Florida. He gave me great advice. Anyway, and that's in the book. So I sat down and I, in my chair with my cup of coffee and I embroider at 6.30 in the morning. Freaking embroider. Why? because I'm not using my phone. I'm doing something very beautiful and very simple. Mm -hmm. And what does it allow my brain to do? Get ideas, channel, calm down. Yeah. So you, with all your Scorpio water science, science, you want to find a way. You're maybe sitting outside with a sketchbook and your phone to dictate into on voice recorder app. And you're going to write down your thoughts, your feelings, your, your, but I feel like it's very, it's not so much um, thought, it's not, it's more, um, you're going to do research too. You're going to like, just Google a lot of research or read books on, yeah, flow like water, Kate, you're going to, it, it, it's going to be of substance. It's not just feeling. Yeah, well, that's it. Okay, so I, so did you say that you took, oh, I have to, so what are you signed up for? Because now we get to gift you. Oh, that's, 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 that's an extra way. gift here. I have the uh, starter pack. So I had the character play, the my uh, portfolio bootcamp, the Matt's MBA and the portfolio um, review, uh, assignment boot okay. camp. And you have the boot camp in, Octo in, in yeah, October. Yeah, in October. And then I got the hot okay. market B and I have the, I did, the, okay. I just did the my toy pitch. Okay. So I am going to break my own rule and give you two courses. <laughs> um, editorial. Do you already have that though? I do not. Okay. And someone said that in the chat. Um, editorial because that is illustrating it's self-paced you can go in and mm -hmm. I think there's like um, three years worth or three assigned three different themes you're going to learn to illustrate those kinds of things okay and I just feel like you're more writing than illustrating your photography and writing and maybe some you're you're going to find a way to illustrate but it's going to be more like maps or trail guides or like that, that supplements your intellect, your ideas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to, you know, like we just saw Raquel who can draw like nobody's business. I mean, she can do characters and pose. That's not your path. 
I, I could be totally wrong. What do I know? But that's what I'm feeling. The other class I'm going to give you is the obvious choice, which is what people, what should I give her? Uh, it's my kid book pitch. Yes, which is the writing class. You don't even have to illustrate it. You just are going to write the book. Yeah. Environmental education, says Linda. This is amazing. This is amazing. This has been extraordinary. Thank you so, so much. Oh, um, my God. I just feel so blessed, Lilla. Thank you. I'm just... Well, wow. you, yeah, we're all rooting for you. This is magical. So what I want you to do is when this is done, are you able to just have a, like a cup of tea for a little bit and just sort of like process? Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Good, yeah, good, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't this so good? Thank you, Laura and Heather. And yeah, this is so Oh my God, I love this so much. You know, I just want to do a course that's just this. <laughs> I, I actually, when I was commenting about the toy pitch class, I was saying about the, the value of when you do this, when I witnessed you doing this with other people is just, it's priceless. It's absolutely priceless. I would so appreciate that. And I love it. You can tell. I, 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 it amazes me too. And people, when you're doing your art or your writing, and you go like, wow, how did I just do that? Like that piece of art is so beautiful. Like where did it come from? Or, or uh, uh, writing, uh, getting a sentence right or, or this Tarot stuff. Like when you're blown away, that's when you know you're on the right track. So you're gonna be able to do this, Pam. You're gonna be able to do this. You will. And you've got these two classes now. So I'm going to stop on this note, but I will be killed if I don't um, talk about, just tell you about, um, and Becky, what else? Oh, and uh, who, who do I get in touch with, Lilla? Okay. I'm sorry. Hello at, yes, hello at makeartthatsells.com. Hello at makeartthatsells. Magical Lilla Poppins. Um, and that you won editorial and my kid book pitch. Okay. So everybody, um, get your butts over there. Look at this. This is the first page. How can I help you achieve success? Because I, I think you can tell I care. I'm not just doing this. I'm old enough to retire. I don't need to be selling courses for a laugh, you know? Look at this, this is a Zoe worksheet on um, fabulous characters. And then it has, see, it's got pages. And then it explains all, like what the bundles are, what you get. Now, my mom's 98 and she's still, I got another 30 years, 20 professionally, let's say. Um, see, you get all these things and then there's a, a chooser to help you um, figure out what course and stuff. Here, this is the one that's the chooser in there. And that is page, oh, that was the one without the page number, right, Becky? <laughs> I think 15, doesn't matter, you'll find it. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, Pam, what is your Insta? Somebody wants to know. Okay, uh, Pam, Pam a lot with two Ts, 57. Pamela, that's great. So yeah, uh, thank you, Lila. I it's it's a lot to digest. I I love drawing, and maybe I can channel it into that place where it's yes. lost, um, because it is my happy place when and it's actually mm -hmm. helping me be here right now. And um, but I appreciate your eye on what you saw and what you're feeling and how you are going to draw. You are going to draw, but it's yeah. about the stuff you love. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be as a way to illustrate your concepts. Yeah. And, and I it, see it as like trails and maps and, and it doesn't have to have that polish 
that a kid book has to have. Um, yeah, I want you to look at the book and you don't have to buy it. You can look at it on Amazon. It's called Math with Bad Drawings. <laughs> and he just makes these illustrations. He's obviously not an artist, but he draws like stick figures to show the math concepts. Mm -hmm. And you're better than that, but I want you to forget about how, you know, just focus on what you're on this planet for and have the, your art be of service to that, of okay. service. Yeah. 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 It, it, I'm excited. I, I don't even want to hang up. It's, it's like, I just want to talk to you forever. It's so great. But I'm going to let you go because even though I know, don't you all want to just talk to Pam all day long? She's very interesting. Yeah. We all want to read more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so let's all follow her Instagram. Yeah. Follow her on Insta. That's good. Okay. Oh, um, thank you so much. I'm going to answer a couple of quick questions in the question thing. And then I'm going to say goodbye. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We will, thank we you. will do this again soon. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much, Lou. Me too. It was really wonderful of her to share with us too. So much of herself. Um, let's see. Uh, um, okay. Well, there weren't really um, they're just little questions. So I'm just going to, I'm going to sign off, but don't forget Monday, I will be doing a zoom with Jenny Miriam, which will be a really, really interesting conversation, how she went from what she did before to becoming a rept illustration illustrator. And then Thursday is going to be that intense, fabulous all-star zoom at noon eastern both are at noon eastern okay good 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 thank you everybody thank you so much for your support on um what i do and about my book reading and uh i i really i really want to encourage each of you to shine in this world and add what you have to offer we need creatives to be big and out there and lots there's room for everyone we saw with pam look at the gifts she has to offer and raquel the gifts these people add so much light at a time there's there's always bad stuff in the world always and there's always good stuff and your work your art your vision your creativity your uniqueness so matters please Keep making your stuff. Don't give up. Don't give up. Find a way to, to persevere. Thank you, everybody. I will see you next time. Bye.